track walk day today in Snowshoe and it seriously feels like we're in the middle of a horror movie right now. It is the foggiest it's been so far. You might even call it spooky. If someone was to make a Matt Walker action figure and it came with two accessories that aren't bike related, Jesus what would it be? Jesus Christ. <laughs> maybe a jet or something? I quite like the idea of being like a fighter pilot. I don't know, maybe it was Top Gun or something. Oh yeah. Watch that. Thought, yeah, maybe do that. <laughs> a jet and a motorbike maybe? The James Bond starter pack. <laughs> yeah. Maybe an old Aston Martin or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's gonna come with Lada, a little dog. Is that, isn't that an accessory? Absolutely. And probably my 964, probably the Porsche. Like, yeah, you could do a motorbike or something, but me, Lada, and the, the action figure cruising in the Porsche would be pretty dope. So, I mean, school bus would be sick as well. People would like playing that. It's gonna be a pullback one as well, so when you put it back, it like zooms along, you know, spring loaded. Yeah. And a little Lada man. That's what the action figure's coming with, so. If, what's a toy company out there called? I don't know, who doesn't? Hot Wheels? Hot Wheels. Hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably come with a hat, because I'm always wearing a hat. And, oh, gummies, some gummy bears. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids, yep, that's the one. A hat and some Sour Patch Kids. Nice. I think it would come with something that has to do with lifting, like a barbell or something, or oh. dumbbells. <laughs> um, what could be the second one? <laughs> one. Two barbells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe two dumbbells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, probably be a Lightning McQueen car, but it might be somehow a bike instead. Watch this space, we got something coming. <laughs> oh, I'm serious. <laughs> no way. All right. <laughs> ah, it would be a pony. Like, for sure, Pom Pom comes from a pony, so that would be the one. And the second one would be a Barbie. <laughs> That's the two ones from when I was younger. And today, maybe that would be a tiger. <laughs> and 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 um, a magic uh... wand. Yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> I would say my dog, and then probably like probably just like an extra large fountain drink from like McDonald's or something, you know, just to fit the vibe. And yeah, probably that. Any thoughts on like, is the track gonna be pretty different being wet or? Super different, we got some new loamy, well I say loam, mud, loam, whatever you wanna say up top. So big shout out to the guys for finally changing stuff. We always like change, so that'll be gnarly. We've just come down the chute, we're about to hit the bottom section where the death rocks are, it's that flat pinned rock garden. So that's probably gonna be insanely sketchy in the mud and wet. Well, we've walked most of it now and I, to be honest, I don't, I, I was expecting it to be really slippy, but. It seems pretty good. It's just one bit at the top where it's new, where it's quite muddy, but it it seems pretty good. It will be different for sure, hundred um, percent. There are also new sections in, on the top, um, which needs to get ridden in, and I think lower rocks are going to be really sketchy in the wet. Um, tire joists is a thing, so yeah, it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Definitely is really like wet and it's supposed to rain almost every day and the truck has changed but uh, I mean like it's really good you know like coming every year to the same place can be boring so we're coming and that's challenging you know like we ask ourselves how are we gonna set the bike the same are we gonna take this line again so it's good like we have some change. Well the past couple of years it's been dry like all the World Cups we've been super lucky with the weather. Growing up racing here, it seemed like it rained every time we came. So I was surprised that we got so lucky with the World Cups, um, which was really nice. Like guys coming from so far away and even last year having a double header, like to have nice weather the whole time was super cool. Um, but yeah, I'd say most of the time snowshoe, it rains. This is like, I think it's technically a rainforest for the amount of rain they get per year. And when we had national champs or um, national series races over the years, it was always this type of weather. This is like the normal. If you look back to like the Norbas back in the day, where all the guys came from Europe to race those Norbas, it was always mud, deep axle, deep mud, and snowshoes just known to be muddy. So yeah, hasn't been, but I think it's a normal thing here.
How's it been around here today? Oh, it's been <laughs> lovely. Earlier on it rained and I closed the door. Had my music playing, oh. nice and quiet, silence, warm. I enjoyed this one. Yeah. I'd imagine this is what it feels like to live inside a cloud. It was like being on the open ocean in a rocking boat with no lights. It was great. <laughs> I'm having I've got all my spares look. I've got shock parts, some seal kits here. What else have you got? Oh, some axles and some air shafts. A lovely selection of uh, air volume lozenges. Yeah, we're happy. To be honest, for me, I have a table in a tent, so it's pretty much exactly the same as my pit set up in Europe. Table, bike stand, my tools in a tent. So managed to put my table not underneath the drips and we're good. How was it around here for you guys? It was great. It's fucking miserable. Yeah. It's like wind blowing sideways through this crappy tent, but we're dealing with it as best we can. We got shorted a little bit on the party tent that we rented, which is supposed to be like a nice dry area, but ours is leaking and the walls aren't fastened down. Clips are broken. So it's just kind of a hassle. Like you, you want to do good work and you have to battle the elements as well as the work itself which is already hard yeah it looks like you guys did some of your own patchwork to stop some leaks in there <laughs> yeah we're like folding things and bungeeing it we're fully janky here which i feel pretty bad about we're just not like we never really recovered from the whole covid thing and we don't have a strong infrastructure out here the other truck is at crankworks and we're having to do what we can we just can't get stuff across North America that quickly. Did you see a lot of volume today? Not too bad. Shocks were chill, which is the important thing because they're the hardest. Half what a Euro round is. So that also helps. Like we're, we're not battling massive quantities of product as well as the elements and little folding tables and tools and stuff. So that helps. Schaefer always says that track walk day is his favorite day to film, and he's got good reason. It's so good getting to be out there on track, seeing everyone for the first time in a new location, especially after feeling like we were kind of on our own out here for a bit. But tomorrow is my favorite day to film when we first get to see everyone ride the new track, and I am especially excited to film this track in these conditions, so we'll see you tomorrow. Oh! Bag update. Ooh. One small bag is now in our Asheville office. Hell yeah. Let's go. The bike is still in Ontario and my big bag is still in Vancouver. <laughs> but somehow so a small duffel bag, I think it's got parts in it, oh. got delivered to the Asheville office. Why two cameras? <laughs> Eight feet. Yeah. How was the day for you, my guy? We were pretty busy today. Not, not too bad. <laughs> God, you stumped. Did you have fun? <laughs> I'm having a great time today. It's raining, and we got water in the tent. And it's warm, though. All right. That's all, that's all you got. <laughs> Fine, that was, that, that was pretty, that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know who to look at anymore. Why did we miss having this guy around? <laughs> Go back to Canada, man. <laughs> we got Starbucks, chicken wings. Vegan dumplings. Vegan dumplings. <laughs> ghosts.